Hey everyone, and welcome back to My Lilac Hill. Brittany here with you today. Uh, I just wanted to kind of walk you through my seed haul for the 2021 growing season and explain to you a few of the changes that are taking place or have already taken place on our farm. So the first thing I wanna talk about and probably the thing I'm the most excited about is that in 2021, I will be running my first annual CSA program. For those of you who don't know what a CSA is, it's a Community Shared Agriculture is what it stands for. And essentially what it is, is a subscription or you're, you could consider yourself a shareholder in the farm. So for 14 weeks during the growing season, my members will receive their share of the farm. So what that means is everything that I harvest and everything that I'm producing will be divided and they will receive a portion of it in the form of a subscription box. And there will be some other exciting gifts and things thrown in there too. I don't wanna give that away right now because some of my members do watch my channel. So I'll take you along throughout the 14 weeks that I'm running this program and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But as you can imagine, growing for other people means that I have to grow significantly more than I would for just my family. So you'll see when I'm going through my seed haul that there's a pretty large variety, but that's why you'll see a lot more than what I've grown in the past. And I always say that I'm gonna bring you along and then I never do, but this year I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you every week while I'm growing and kind of walk you through what the CSA program looks like. As you can see behind me, I've got my seed starting shelves set up and ready to go. I actually have a tree of microgreens sitting right there that I just started this morning. So microgreens is something I've never done before, but I'm really excited about. And so I'm going to bring you along and show you hopefully how successful it is. If it's not successful, I'll show you that too. But let's get looking at some seeds over the seeds that I have remaining from last year, which would have been the 2020 growing season. So I primarily ordered from Haas Tool Company and then also Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds last year. Um, but what I have left is a little bit of cilantro. I did end up saving some Sweetie Cherry tomato seeds, so I've got those. I have just a couple of the Easter egg radish, a few Merlot purple bell peppers, have a little bit of spinach left, some Italian basil. These are those sweetie cherry tomatoes that I ended up saving seeds. These are seeds directly from Haas. I have national pickling cucumbers left. Oh, these are from this year. I have some sun gold tomatoes, the Bella Rosa tomato, and then I have a little bit of black seeded Simpson lettuce. So that's all that I had left from last year. Now the rest of what I'm going to show you is what I ordered for the 2021 growing season. And the reason that there is so much is because like I said earlier, I am doing a CSA program this year. So I do have to make sure that I am going to have enough to have uh, a CSA box for the six families that signed up for this year in addition to what I will consume for myself. Um, so with that, I will start with the, um, the green beans, the giant bag of green beans that I got. Now Johnny's doesn't put any um, pictures on their seed packages, but these are a um, provider bush bean is what I ordered from them. And then if we go into um, some of the rest of what I got, I have some more of the Easter egg radish because I only have a couple left from last year and I wanna grow a ton of radish this year. So I ordered quite a few of those. This is actually not my only package. Um, I've got three or four other packages of that. And then a broccoli, a cauliflower, a Chinese cabbage, and I did some bunching onions this year. I also ordered some bolero carrots and a zucchini, a spineless perfection zucchini. 
And then I also did a slightly different pickle than what I usually grow. I usually grow national pickling cucumbers and that's about it. Well, this year I'm adding in market moors and then also, which I don't know where that seed packet went to, it's in here somewhere, but I did the muncher cucumber as well. And then as far as greens this year, in addition to the black seeded Simpson lettuce that I have left over from last year, I'll be doing some tat soy, some salanova lettuce, some Swiss chard, some Marble of Four Seasons lettuce. Now this one's from Baker Creek and it does have a picture of what it looks like. This one is also from Baker Creek, um, but occasionally they run out of the pretty seed packages, so they have to put them in this. Um, but this is a Swiss chard. It doesn't have a picture of it on it or I would show you. Um, then we have some mustard, red Malabar spinach, which I'm actually really excited to grow. I've never grown this before. This was a free seed packet. When you order from Baker Creek, they always send you a free seed. Um, so the one that I got this time was the um, Russian red kale, or I guess it's also called ragged jack kale. I ordered and paid for a blue curled scotch kale. Another free seed that I got, which I guess is probably left over from last year, um, is mustard. And this is the red giant mustard. And then I'm also doing a couple of melons this year. I have grown melons in the past, but it's been a few years since I've done them. So I'm really excited to get back into it. From Johnny's, which again, they don't have a picture on there or I'd show you, but it's a crimson sweet watermelon. And then from Baker Creek, which I'm really excited to grow this, is the Kajari melon. Another one that I have not ever grown is okra. So I'm gonna be doing the Clemson Spineless Okra from Baker Creek. And then let's switch over to peppers. So this year I am growing a pretty wide variety of peppers. I'm going to do the jalapenos from Johnny's, a habanada from Baker Creek, which is supposed to be the flavor of a habanero without the heat. So I'm pretty curious about that. I've never grown that before. This is albino bullnose bell pepper, which I thought they were pretty cool looking. So I'm excited about that too. These are the shishito peppers. Now, similarly to the habanada, this is a nata pino which is like a jalapeno without the heat. Sugar Rush Peach. And then I don't know exactly how to say this, but Lesia, Lesia, it's a red pepper. Um, and in the Bigger Creek catalog, it says it's one of the sweetest in the world or maybe even the sweetest red pepper. So I'm really excited about that one too. Um, now, another thing that I have never grown before but we'll be doing this year, and you probably noticed by this tray, this is a microgreens tray. I'm gonna grow some microgreens. So what I have ordered are radish microgreens, carrot microgreens, basil, kale, and then I'll show you another video of what I just started, but I just started a mild mix. Um, like I said, I have never done that before. So in my video, I'll kind of walk you through the steps of how I'm doing it but I don't really know what I'm doing. So I guess I'll take you along for that and hopefully it works. I have watched several other people do it, so I'm kind of mimicking what they've done and hopefully it works for me too. Some of the flowers I'm planning on incorporating in my garden to attract some pollinators are the chocolate morning glory. I love morning glories. I like to do them on a cattle panel trellis and have them kind of as an archway in my garden. I'm gonna put some zinnias out. I have two different seed packets left from last year. This one's a mix. And then this one is called peppermint stick. And I don't know if you can really see that, but it's white with red speckles. I'm also doing sweet peas because they smell so good. And then I have two different Alaskan nasturtiums.
tomatoes, which are probably my favorite crop of all time to grow. I'm going to do a few different varieties. I already showed you I have a couple different cherry tomatoes, the Sun Gold and the Sweetie Cherry, and then I also have the Bella Rosa from last year. And this year I'm going to do a uh, indeterminate big beef from Johnny's. And then going to do the Paul Robeson from Baker Creek, which I'm really, really excited to grow. I've never had this one before, but I've heard a lot of really great things on several YouTube channels. And then couldn't resist, went ahead and got the Brad's Atomic Grape just because I think they are really cool looking. And again, I've heard a lot of great things on other YouTube channels. I found that uh, other cucumber. So this is the Muncher cucumber I was talking about earlier. So I'll put it with my Market Moors. And then the last little bunch of seeds that I have in my seed haul for today are some herbs. Now I did order some additional herbs that have not got here yet. So I do have a flat leaf and a curled leaf parsley, a rosemary, oregano, and thyme on the way from Gurney's Seed, as well as my seed potatoes. But my seed potatoes will not ship until probably the first or second week of March because if they ship when it's too cold, it'll actually ruin the seed potatoes. So it'll be a little while before I get them, uh, but when I do get them in the mail, I will show you those. But what I have so far for my herbs are some chives, cilantro, and dill from Johnny's. And then I have from Baker Creek, I have the Thai sweet basil, which doesn't show you a picture, but it, I mean, it just looks like basil, but apparently it's really sweet and flavorful. So I'm excited for that one. And then I also have the cinnamon basil, which I'm super excited for. I've never had that before, but I thought it looked pretty interesting. So I'm excited to try that one. And then I actually forgot about these. These are my beets. I couldn't resist because based on how the pricing was, it just, it just made sense to buy 5,000 of them. I don't know why that made sense in my head, but it did. So I have a lot of beets and I'll be sharing with a couple friends of mine. I don't know if you can see the packaging on there, but I will be sharing with a friend of mine who is getting into gardening. Well, actually she got into gardening last year and then this year she bought a new house with some additional property and will be gardening really expansively this year. So I will be starting some seeds for her and um, we'll be kind of trading back and forth. She's growing a few things that I'm not. And so I, I'm sure that we'll do some trading later on in the season as well. But for right now, that's what I have. And if I can figure it out, I'll try to throw up some pictures of the varieties that I ordered from Johnny's, but I'm not a great video editor, so I don't make you any promises. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for right now. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that this helped you a little bit with what you might be planning in your garden or just gave you some inspiration. I'm really excited to get started this year and uh, I, I hope to bring you along. I always say that I'm gonna bring you along and then I fail miserably at filming. So maybe this is my year, who knows. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up my seed haul um, for the 2021 growing season. Like I said, I'm still waiting on one order, which should be here probably middle of March. I'm, I'm not gonna expect it before that because it's potatoes and they usually don't ship them until they can guarantee that there's no frost. So I will show you those when they come in. I'm not in a hurry to get them because I'm just gonna put them directly in the ground and I'm not gonna put them in the ground in March anyways. So I'll show you when they come in. I'll show you the process of planting those and I will show you as I'm starting my seeds. I plan to start my first round of seeds around February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So I'll show you, um, I'm gonna do success, succession starting, <laughs> almost said planting. I am gonna do succession planting as well, um, but I'm also starting my seeds in that method. That way I can extend my harvest a little bit and not have everything ready to harvest in one week and have nothing the next. So I'll show you what that process looks like. If you have any questions about today's video, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. 
If you have any suggestions um, for me as well, go ahead and drop those below. Like I said, this is gonna be my first year running a CSA program. So while I'm extremely excited about it, and I am a little bit nervous as well. So if you've ever ran a CSA or been a part of a CSA and you have some feedback for me, I would love to hear it. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.